Want breakfast, Annie? Good morning. You all right? Mama? What's wrong? You drove Well, here. let me tell you why I drove down here, Gary. Uh, you know, I was thinking about you staying here, and I got an idea that was so exciting that I just couldn't wait till you all got back to the house. What is it? But not too long ago, Ewing Oil acquired a little company that turned out to be a jewel. It uh, distributes petroleum byproducts, you know, all the gook that's left when we finish doing what we have to do to the crude. And it's running about 5 10% efficiency, and even at that rate, it's turning in a nice, steady profit. And I thought it'd be a great project for you. For me? I tell you, it is a can't-miss operation. A little uh, common sense and capital, and you're gonna turn that nice, steady profit into a big, fat profit for you. know what? I don't know anything about that kind of business. If I stayed, I was thinking about working the ranch. Yeah, well, I can see you've been talking to Ray Krebs. I suppose he told you this place pretty well runs itself. Yeah, I know. Nice thing about this, Gary, is you don't have to learn hardly anything. Just like I said, little capital, little tender, loving care. You run the company more or less like it's been run, put in some new machinery, a few changes here and there, and you're gonna have it made. And you can run fast, slow, any way you want. And I don't have to tell you, Dad and I'll be 100% behind you. I don't know. You think about it. Thanks, Joe. thank you. I appreciate it, and I will think about it. Good boy. Joe, I'm gonna go right back with you. Just you? Yeah. Think we can trust these two lovebirds to be alone together? No, nope. that's why I want to leave them here. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, Kitty. Gary? Yeah? You gotta get away from here. But why? Didn't you hear it's all going fine? Yeah, I heard. Now look, you pack your bags and go on out to California. Or any place. I don't understand. What's wrong? JR is coming after you. Now I'll move too, maybe. We'll keep in touch, and if it all works out, we can come back for Lucy. Well, wait a minute, Val. You can't wait. He's gonna do it again. To you, to us, and to Lucy. Well, come on, Val. Can't you see he's doing something, and whatever it is, it's gonna leave you wrung out and tossed away like the last time. And when he gets through with you, he's gonna come after me. And then Lucy isn't gonna have either one of us again. And now, Bobby minutes in the same room with JR, I feel like I've been in a pigsty. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. I found exactly where my daddy stands. Bobby, I don't understand. And those wells I opened up. Cliff has a right to share in the profits from those wells. So JR closed them down. And the worst thing is, daddy approves. Makes him no better than JR. I gotta get out of here. We're leaving South Fork first thing in the morning. Bobby, you can't just run away like this. I thought you'd be happy about it. Well, it doesn't matter how I feel. This is your family. Not anymore, they're not. I've got to get out of here while I still know the difference between right and wrong. Take the advice you've been giving me. Wait until you've cooled off. I've put up with all the wheeling and dealing and backstabbing that I'm going to. We leave in the morning. I tried to bribe Valley. You catch your death on a morning like this. I'll catch my death anywhere around you. Then don't hang around me, honey. You handled this one perfectly. Modesty forbids my agreement, but you're right. So what's my future? None around here. Any choices? You know, $5,000 and escort out of the state. Any others? Escort out of the state. There was no reason for this. You took a little girl's daddy and you lost yourself a brother for nothing. I wouldn't call another brother in my hair nothing, honey. Oh, he wouldn't have been in your hair. He would have bought you nothing but his self, his own good self, something you could have used. Don't get dressed. Where are you going? I'm gonna write you a check. Don't bother. You have taken everything from me. My child and my husband. 
The one thing you can't do is buy me with your you and money. You've done everything in your power to get what you wanted. Well, you did it. Congratulations, JR. You are now the Ewing's only son. Mama, I don't want Bobby to leave. You know that. All I know is JR. He's gone. You've had your last say in this house, Sue Ellen. Think you can get away talking about me in front of my mom and daddy like that? You've caused me enough humiliation. You're a drunk and an unfit mother. And I honestly think you've lost your reason. I'm gonna call Dr. Rogers. The sooner we have you put away in that sanitarium, the better off you're gonna be. 